How is it going guys? Mark Sagong here and welcome to the second episode of Loot Gear for Noobs. So previously we talked about guitar saddles and we able to make one for my Jcraft Troubadour PD10CE. So for those of you na hindi pa nakakapanood, please watch it. Click nyo lang yung card sa taas for the previous episode. And also I will put the link in the description down below. Okay, so for today's video, guitar nut naman ang gagawin natin. I start off by removing all the strings from the headstock. Pwede kayong gumamit ng kapo para i-hold yung mga strings while working on the nut. Then, using a sharp knife or a cutter, gently score the edge to make sure none of the wood will get chipped out. Usually, mapapansin natin, nakaglue yung nut sa gitara. So, para matanggal yung pagkakadikit, we're gonna use a block of wood, a light tap using a hammer, and boom! Nice! Then, make sure na walang may iwan na glue dun sa nut slot. Now we're gonna choose the right bone for the nut, then proceed on flattening one side. So gagawin lang natin ulit yung method na ginawa natin dun sa paggawa ng saddle. Shade it using a pencil and proceed on sanding using a 150 grit sandpaper. Then once na flatten na, draw a rectangular shape para dun sa magiging shape ng nut natin. And from there, we'll remove the excess material hanggang sa ma-reduce yung size ng nut. Then, we'll roughly work on the desired thickness, pero hindi yung exact thickness niya. Maglalagay tayo ng konting allowance para sa sanding mamaya. Then by using the same technique, shade it using a pencil and proceed on sanding. So ayan, once na flatten na natin both sides, we'll work on removing the excess material to achieve the shape. So be careful lang guys sa paggamit ng grinder. <laughs> Mahirap na, baka mamaya hindi na tayo makatug. No! God, please, no! 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 Anyway, tuloy lang. We're trying to achieve something like a rectangular prism. The next step is to smoothen the surfaces using a sandpaper. Kung meron kayong belt or desander, good for you. Mas mabilis. 
But since tayo wala tayo nun, dun tayo sa conventional way. At manalig lang tayo na sana hindi manginig yung kamay natin. <laughs> so after a lot of effort, we able to come up with this shape. Test fit. So kung mapapansin ninyo, medyo sobra siya ng kaunti. So we'll subtract the amount required to get a snug fit on the nut slot. Test fit ulit. Magiging suwak kaya. And nice! Napaka smooth. From there, imamark lang natin yung edges on both sides like so. Then using our handy dandy half pencil, guguhi. Take two. Guguhitan lang natin yung height ng mga frets para may guide tayo for slotting. So ayan, parang magiging ganito siya. Next step, using the grinder, i-reduce lang natin yung shape ng bone. Make sure na magtitira tayo ng konting allowance from the pencil marks. So ayan, para magiging ganito siya. Oh, di ba? Medyo malayo pa siya sa reality. Now, isasmoothen lang ulit natin siya using a sandpaper. Ikaskas ang lapis at ikiskis ang labis na material. Same goes for the edges. Test fit. So far, so good. Konting liha pa to make it smoother. So ayan, medyo nagmumukhang nat na siya. But there's still something's missing. Yep, the nut slots. And that leads us to the next step. Using the old nut as a reference, mark the spacing of the strings like so. Usually for a standard 43mm nut, the spacing measurement is divided equally so it is around 7mm between each strings. Pero para mas sure, ititrace na lang natin yung spacing nung sa old nut. From there, install lang ulit natin siya sa nut slot and proceed on restringing. Usually for slotting the nut, gumagamit sila ng micro files or precision files. But since tayo wala tayo nun, Let's make an alternative. From an old hacksaw blade, i-grind lang natin siya para maging manipis yung blade niya. And from there, yun yung gagamitin natin na pang slot dun sa nut. So I'm gonna start slotting, but not too deep right away. Basically what I do is to put some notch for the strings to rest on. Okay, now that we have started our slots, we proceed on adding the depth using a nut slotting files. 
So this particular slotting file, nabili ko siya sa Lazada for around 150 pesos if I'm not mistaken. So far okay naman siya. Except medyo hirap lang siyang i-file yung sa first and second string kasi sobrang nipis. But overall, it does the work naman. So sulit pa rin. Continue filing while maintaining the approximate angle for the slots. Now we're done with the slotting, next step is to remove the strings and let's add those rolled edges onto the knot. Grind the edge and sand it to make it smooth. Now, using the same DIY file that we use on making the saddle, we'll refine the edges to eliminate those uneven surfaces like so. And for the final touch, use a piece of 1000 grit sandpaper to clean those edges. And there you have it! A nice handcrafted bone nut for your acoustic guitar. Then the last thing we need to do is to install it on the guitar using a white glue ECA glue or just an ordinary super glue. Add a few drops and let's fix it on the guitar. So let's do a recap. Nakagawa na tayo ng bone saddle and nut. Na-install na din natin sila sa gitara. And kung mapapansin ninyo, medyo mataas pa yung action or yung height ng mga strings. Nangangailangan pa ng adjustments para maging okay yung action niya. So to do that, we're gonna do a general guitar setup which will I teach you on the next episode of Luthier for Noobs. So please stay tuned. Before I end this video, I want to give a shout out to Luis Nero Valdez, Lawrence Justin Marquez, Ronald Esguera, Darrell Cabanlong YT, Chil Magsino, Alexander E. Toralba, Carl Bral Jaum, Adrian Mina, and Maynard Orpiano. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit like. Share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more future updates. Keep safe everyone and I will see you guys next time on the next episode of Loot Year for Loops.